In my adolescence, I've played Grand Theft Auto, Saints Row, Modern Warfare, and a bunch of other misanthropic games, but this is just too much. Voltaire once said, I may not like what you have to say, but I'll defend your right to say it. And I don't even know what can be said about this. An upcoming game, titled Hatred from Destruction Games, is a game in which you play as a homicidal psychopath who plans to commit genocide on innocent and unarmed people within a 10 mile radius of himself, all before the character commits suicide, or dies. This is easily one of the worst ideas for a game I have ever heard, and this is coming from a guy who knows that a leaf simulator exists. Fox News is going to have a field day. They'll say that video games cause violence that may or may not happen around the time of the game's release, if that even happens. If you look at the history of violent media, Doom and Marilyn Manson were blamed for Columbine, and Adam Lanza, I believe, the shooter at Sandy Hook, was an avid player of video games. The truth is that the media is often blamed for the violent nature of today's youth, but in all honesty, the media doesn't cause violence. I play GTA. I listen to Slipknot every now and then. One of my favorite shows is Dexter, or How I Learned How to Kill My Neighbor. And yet, I haven't gone out and shot up my town of anywhere USA. Violence in the media is used to induce a thrill in our primitive brains. When we're excited, generally when we're angry or upset, our natural response is to resort to violence. And the media can act as a way of release in case that happens, or it can make it worse, let's be honest. Video games act as a way to put yourself into a story, take control of a protagonist, and do things you wouldn't normally do. This could be start a brawl with somebody on the street, shoot at space marines, or maybe even steal a car. Movies are a way to view a world, or even a universe, where we probably would never see but the actions on screen are enough to intrigue us and sometimes inspire us to do something similar to whatever happened in the movie. But at no point in any movie that, at least that I've seen, do the characters or the director or the producer stop the movie, point to you, the viewer, and tell you to kill someone. Television is somewhat the same. Books can be debated whether or not they can have this effect on someone, but you'd have to get through a lot of metaphors or similes to understand it. I mean, imagine somebody reading the Bible and... Oh, wait. Hatred, granted, shares the insanity of Grand Theft Auto, and it's gameplay where you could shoot person Y at any time X just because you decide to hit that button on your controller. Or your mouse, for you PC gamers. The only problem is... GTA's stories are about the character, or the protagonist, and their interactions with people who are just trying to get by in the criminal world. You can drive, you could sing along to the radio, you could hire escorts, or later kill them for a refund, and that's your choice of gameplay. And if that choice of gameplay makes you happy, then so be it. However, in Hatred, this game is about nothing but misanthropy, or the dislike of people in general and the massacre of innocent people, and that's it. No joy, no radio, just dark, miserable imagery. The idea that people are violent because they watch or play a lot of violent media is ignorant at best. Games and movies don't cause violence, people can cause violence. If little Billy watches Natural Born Killers and decides to shoot little Johnny, then that's on little Billy, not Woody Harrelson or Juliet Lewis or whoever directed that movie. If little Susie plays GTA 4 and decides to go all Annie Oakley on her next door neighbors, that's on little Susie, not Nico Bellic, not Roman Bellic, and not Rockstar Games. With all this said, the overly violent media may not turn kids into killers, but worst case scenario, it could turn them into sociopaths. 
The overly dramatic deaths and fights on television and in the movies are likely to make children less susceptible to the idea of consequences. Now, of course, I'm no expert, but it is kind of a fact that small children are little Dexters anyway. One, something's got to give. Two, something's got to give. Three, something's got to give.